a corn variety that's not only good looking but is absolutely healthy for you. Say hi to the blue maize. So the blue maize corn is a special type of corn. Now before we take a look at the details, let's look at what types of corns are available. So the first type of corn is the sweet corn, the regular sweet corn that you can grow in your garden. It tastes very sweet. There's a second type of corn called field corn, which is basically an inedible type of corn that nobody grows in their home garden. It's only used for cattle feed. And there's a third variety of corn that I would like to classify and that's somewhere between sweet corn and field corn. It's an absolutely nice tasting corn, very delicious, but it's not sweet. It doesn't have that much of sugar as in sweet corn. So you can either direct sow your corn seeds in your raised beds or the ground, or you can sow them in these kind of cups or small containers. And then once the seeds sprout, you can transplant them. And here you can see my three year old son sowing these corn seeds. And as you might have realized, this process is fairly simple and easy to do. So within about 15 days, your seeds should germinate and should form well-defined leaves, as you can see here. And this is a time, it's a good time to transplant these corn seedlings into larger containers. Now we'll be growing our corn in this uh, rope bucket tub that I got from Walmart for a cheap price. Now if you haven't watched my video on growing sweet corn in containers, I highly recommend that you watch this video. You can see the link to the video on your screen. And this video explains all the details of how to successfully grow sweet corn in containers. The video that you're seeing right now is just a plant profile of the blue maize corn and I really wanted to do a video on this corn variety simply because it's absolutely delicious and along with the glass gem corn variety which is the other absolutely delicious corn variety forms this class of corn which is not very sweet but is also not a field corn so if you're like me if you like corn that is not very sweet you'll absolutely love eating this corn <music> And make sure you water your plant very well after transplanting and this is also a good time to add a liquid fertilizer or if you prefer to use a slow release fertilizer this is a good time to add it so 40 days since sowing these seeds and transplanting them the corn plants have started growing very vigorously as you can see here they have nice green leaves and this is what you should be looking for whenever you're growing plants they should have this lush green foliage in the first few days and it's about 53 days now you can see the plants are still growing very well and once it's about 72 days you can see that the plants have grown really tall and remember that this rope bucket actually holds a lot of soil it holds a lot of potting mix so they will grow very well. The corn plants grow really well in this kind of a container. So this is how they look at in 74 days. You've seen the corn has started producing these male flowers on the top and the corn cobs on the lower parts of the plant. And this is also a good time to pollinate your corn plants. Corn is wind pollinated, but if you want, you can just shake the plant a little bit in the early hours of the morning or late afternoon and this will cause the plants to produce more kernels. So as you can see here the top part of the corn is now drying out and this is not really an indicator to harvest the plant. So I'm going to show you by harvesting this one corn that what are the things you should look for when harvesting a corn. Why is this a bad harvest? Now the top part of the corn as you can see is pretty dry however the corn cob has not matured yet and you'll soon see when i open the corn here that the corn really hasn't matured yet 
Now this is a blue variety of corn. It has blue kernels. But as you can see here, all these kernels are white. So they really haven't got a chance to develop and become the corn that's supposed to be harvested. That's why I call this a bad harvest. This is not what you should be doing. You should be waiting for the corn cob to completely develop. And I'll shortly show you what are the signs to see that. Now this plant is being grown in a mix that has a lot of organic material like compost. It also has peat moss and perlite. Now when adding fertilizer to your corn plants, once they are about 6 to 8 inches, you need to supply a high nitrogen fertilizer. And once the plants are established and about to flower, you need to use a balanced fertilizer for best results. Now let's look at this corn that we just harvested. Now this is a good indicator. You see how I just pulled off a little bit of the husk to make sure that it's a little blue? That's what you should be looking for. If you just pull down the husk a little bit, you can see the color of the kernels. You can even make sure that they are developed. And this is really the good time to harvest your corn. So as you can see here, this corn looks lovely. It's got nice bright blue kernels. And this is what gives it the name, the blue maize. And I just love to eat my corn by just roasting it on my cooktop. As you can see here, it's very easy to just roast the corn. If you want to flavor it, you can add some lime or lemon or some salt. But even if you just roast your corn, it tastes absolutely delicious. So there we have it. That's how our corn looks like. So I'd like to know from you, my YouTube viewers, have you tried growing this corn? Or have you tried growing any kind of corn that's not sweet? I'd love to know your opinions and I'll see you again soon. Happy gardening. Thank you.